Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll show you how you can learn Element Locator in Selenium using Copilot. That means using Copilot you can do your software testing, you can learn many different fields for software testing. So Copilot is a very useful tool as a Microsoft AI. So you can use many different purpose, learning purpose, your testing purpose, real work purpose. There are a lot of uses for the Copilot. So in order to open the Copilot, you need to open any browser. So thereafter, you need to navigate Bing.com. Once you are in Bing.com, you need to click Copilot in the taskbar like over here. Also, after the search box, there is a Copilot icon. You can click over here. Anywhere, if you click Copilot, then you will come up over here. Here, your Copilot, your everyday AI companion, here ask me anything, you need to write your prompt. So basically, today's tutorial will sh show how Copilot give us the example for all locator in Selenium. Here is the locator in Selenium. Element locators in Selenium. Element can be located any class name, CSS selector, ID, name, link test, partial link test, tag name, xpath. ID is the unique for any element. So if there is an ID, you can choose ID for the further looking anywhere. Class name, it might be multiple element can be same class name so you should be careful about all of those and xpath if any element does not have anything then you can create your own xpath using xpath strategy so we will ask copilot that how we can locate our element in selenium and then how we will see how copilot give us the response and how we can take the help copilot and uh, in real life we can work for the element locating so here is the copilot we will ask the question can you please give me example for element locator in selenium java so the question is can you please give me example for element locator not the locator locators because there are multiple element locators in selenium java once you have written over here question mark it is optional you can give it or not then you can hit enter from it, your keyboard or you can click over here submit button thereafter copilot will analyze your question then it will start writing So basically, it has written all eight locator technique, whatever we see in before our note, it's a class name locator, here is the how class name works, use these to locate element based on their class name. And here is the example, driver.find element dot class name whatever the class name you need to provide over here so css selector id locator you see locate element by their unique id attribute this all are the locator technique over here so we'll go we'll take let's say we'll take this one first locator there is a um, class name let me copy from here copy go to eclipse we have a eclipse project package already created if you are new in selenium you need to know how to create your um, eclipse uh, project package and class all the setup we have a separate video for that i'll put that link in the description you can watch from there so here already package created right click on the package then new let's say java class I'm taking the main method will not run anything just we need to see how locator works so here we can create a class element locator and then click finish here is our element locator class we already copied the how the class locate you see web driver uh, there is a red mark it will be i'm going through there 
you see wave element element if you don't go through the wave element it is okay driver dot find element by dot class name class name is information that's why it is coming up over here we need to set up selenium all over over here we need to import that chrome driver if you mouse over you see import chrome driver similar way web driver you need to import web driver also before that we need to set up as a eclipse project how you need to do that by dot if you mouse over by import all dot selenium that's it so basically this will not run we need to copy a lot of thing import the red mark is gone similar way it is the class name example class name then again we need to copy all of those thing it is the css selector copy from here i am going through all of those later on let me copy from copilot this is the css selector let me narrow down okay thereafter css selector thereafter id locator copy here here is the id locator thereafter here is the name locator Here is the name locator thereafter link text locator let me copy from here link text locator thereafter partial link text then we have more here is the tag name locator tag name locator then xpath locator so in order to do your selenium automation testing you need to figure it out the element with this locator so there are like a class name locator css selector id name locator link text either way we have eight over here you need to figure it out those locator then you need to perform your action once basically let me show you from the drop down option from editor so driver dot driver dot find element once you do the find element then by dot you see all of the locator technique over here whatever ai given us see a class name css selector id link text name partial link text tag name expert those are the technique by selenium so that means 
whatever AI gave us, copilot gave us, that's all are correct. That's basically once we are taking this one from AI, then we need to only replace the class name over here. We need to figure it out the class name or CSS selector or ID or name those way. So basically Selenium website has a demo version for web this element locator technique let me open with google chrome this is the demo application for element locating in selenium website you see that there is a link here is the selenium official page if you this is a link basically if you want to locate this element with the link text you need to mention whole string selenium official page if partial link text if you want use only selenium that will work too so let's go to the locator let's say selenium these two link text locator here is the selenium official whole link text and here is the partial one this is the way you can locate your element this is the one thing second thing if you go any element let's say first name right click inspect so inspect pointer then go to the first name you see over here first name input class is information id is the f name either way if you take the class name information if that class name with other element too so that if you need the class name that will select two that's why you need to take unique this is the first name or last name is the unique id let me show you in that way you see the name locator f name and id is the element id in that place you need to place your id that will select that one this is the name locator f name let me show you in the dom you see the name equal to f name this one you can use too this is the name that means whatever the attribute in html like class name id name either way you can figure it out then you can use uh, for your selenium testing and ai exactly given you whatever needed for the locator technique and those who are new in software automation testing as well as, well as selenium automation testing this ai will be very helpful for locating technique uh, to figure it out how you can um, write the code for locating any element this is the sample based on this sample you can figure it out any element locator so that will be very helpful for your software automation testing using selenium java if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also, if you have any question regarding element locator technique using Copilot, please make comments. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.